Hello guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to connect Java and Beans with MySQL. Ok, so let's get started. Open the MySQL. Use the database which you have. Inside the database we usually have tables. I have a one table uh, with me. It's is the table name DEPT which has three columns DEPT number, D, D name and log. Now our purpose is to connect this one table through Java database connectivity in NetBeans. I'll show you how to do this. Okay, So start NetBeans. project explorer window I have this much projects with me now uh, go to file menu click on new project it's simple Java Java application next name it as uh, like um, get it In the project explorer window, we have created a project namely get it and uh, uh, all we need to do is click on this get it, new and jpl, name it as select any, any name you can give. Now, here is our java form, okay. So this one is the palette. You have to uh, see. We have to connect this one table, which has uh, three columns in it. So uh, we'll use a J table from here. Uh, here from the palette. See this, this one. Drag it here. Design it properly. Now see. We need three columns, but by default there are four columns and four rows in it. So we'll have to shape it for that. We'll go for the properties of J table. Here the property is called model property model property click here title name first title is dpt number d name log any title you can give okay now this fourth one is extra so minimize it mm, here delete now uh, finish the rows to zero columns to three okay click on see here we have got our table which has no rows rows will be inserted automatically when it will be connected to java net uh, mysql okay so uh, Let's uh, let's design a button, J button, here. Okay. Now name this table as C1. Okay. Now, are you ready to uh, start with the coding? So here it is. Click on source. This is a source window. Without moving the uh, cursor, just press enter and right here on the very top, right import Java dot SQL dot star. Basically, you need to import these uh, SQL components. That is SQL dot connection, SQL dot dri uh, driver manager, SQL dot statement, and result set. These are the four main basic uh, things needed to connect Java with NetBeans, uh, with uh, MySQL, okay? So we just write, uh, wrote that star to eliminate the whole problem. Other things we need to import is import java x dot swing dot j action state. One more thing is needed that is Go to design menu, click on 
double click on this fetch data nothing you have to do just double click on it your cursor is here right now ok press enter all the coding you have to write here cause you have to trigger some action and I have used a J button for that ok so uh, write, uh, start writing the coding default table model you have to be very careful by writing the coding because java is very case sensitive ok default table model name the model as model equals to One very most important thing uh, you have to keep in mind while connecting the Java with uh, MySQL is you must have a MySQL J connector in it. Without that, the connection can never be possible. So uh, you should have it in your library. See, I have the project get it. So in this project get it, uh, its library should have that folder. See, there is no MySQL connector J folder. So I have to add it add jar right click on libraries add jar or folder I have it on my machine on um, documents uh, see this one open now see this one has been connected here it's not connected it's a jar file you have to uh, insert in it without that the connection is never be Okay, so uh, this file is under the description, and you can under the description. Okay, so let's go through the coding. Sorry, class dot folder hmm. class dot post name Java dot SQL dot establish a connection between java netbeans and mysql ok if you are having some problem in this syntax then there is an option just go to services services there is a database expand it and here new connection ok host is localhost port is 3306 Database is members query. Username is root SQL. That's it. Click here. Show JDBC URL. See. You can copy it from here. Uh, here is the Derby, but I have used MySQL. I don't know what is it, but you can do it whatever you want. Okay.
processes a select charge from the ECT. You can manipulate your query as your wish. Okay. See, I have put a uh, semicolon inside also and outside also. Inside is for that MySQL and outside is for this like bean syntax. Okay. So execute query. Which query? You have to this. The string query. Okay. Results at RS. Now, all the query result has been stored here in RS. You have to just take it out now. How to take it out? Uh, you should use this syntax. Use, you should uh, use this looping instead. Right? While RS dot next string string b1 is equals to RS dot get string. We have to write the column name. The first column name was dpt number. Right? three columns so we have to write this so uh, hmm. inside this loop we have to write this thing the default table model it was model right it was model so right here model dot add row each time the loop execute a row is been added in it After that, you have to close this component. RS dot close close. That's it. And inside the exception, cat exception, right here, J of string A dot show message dialog is this comma this. done with the coding okay so let's try the luck how it goes run set main project get it ah, see it it's been connected with java uh, my skill it click on fetch data and we have got it see it's been connected with mysql